Hi, here's a quick roundup of my drum machine. Um, just an update of where I am so far. Added loads of new features since we last did a demo, and now we've got some cool stuff like um, reverb, um, a thing called jam mode where the, the, the drum machine changes the volume of the tracks as it goes along. Uh, we've also got control over, um, over each uh, instrument so we can change the, the volume of the instrument. We can also change the playback rate as well. And um, we've got a nice new menu system and uh, some new displays. So I'll take you through what we've got. Oh, and we can also lay, load and save uh, 16 different um, patterns or songs um, from the SD card, which is uh, up in there. So here we go. Uh, let's uh, bring up the menu. And we go, actually, the first thing I do is I'll turn the backlight down because it's quite bright um, for the camera and you can't actually see the screen. That's a bit better like that. There we go. So, um, we'll load a song. Let's have a look. Uh, and you use the, the steps to load the song. So there's 16 different songs you could load. Uh, so let's load number 5. There we go. And let's see what that sounds like. This is a really simple two pattern song. And whilst it's playing, we can do some things. So, for example, we can turn on reverb. That's just very simple, on or off. We've also got a thing called jam mode, which is where uh, each instrument, every time it plays, it changes the sound, the volume for the next time it plays, which gives you a kind of a, I call it like a jam mode session. So what happens is it, instruments kind of fade in and fade out, and it gives quite a lot of variety to just a really simple pattern. So with this very simple pattern here, if we turn on jam mode, and then we uh, go back here, you can see here, I think you can see, these are the, the volumes of each individual track. And we can hear now that the cymbals are fading right out. We've lost the snare altogether, and the bass is coming quite loud. And the bass is coming back down again. There we go. The cymbal coming quite loud. The snare getting louder. Anyway, that's just uh, not particularly useful, but quite good fun. So let's turn off jam mode. Now, as I said, we've got a thing called tuning where you can um, change the volume of each instrument. So you choose your volume by choosing the step button. So let's say we want to uh, boost the volume of the kick. There we go. Or we can knock it right back. There we go. I'll put it back again up to, up to normal. Um, we can also slow things down and speed things up. So let's, for example, uh, speed up the, the kick so it doesn't sound like a kick anymore. Some kind of uh, techno pop drum. Now this is done with just a really simple linear interpolation algorithm, so the quality is not great. It sounds very 8-bit, uh, if you like, um, which is because it is 8-bit, um, but it kind of works, it's kind of fun. Different samples uh, work better or worse. Um, so for example, if we find the, the kick, Actually, that's the wrong, the wrong instrument there. Um, actually, let's load in a different song. Um, okay, and we try tuning this. So we've got a very simple bass line and some snares.
actually make them pretty horrible. <laughs> There we go. Um, very simple. Uh, that's pretty it. You can control the the uh, length of the song. You can uh, turn the backlight on and off and change the brightness. Uh, and of course, you can load and save songs. So, what other songs have I got? See that one? The um, the uh, symbol or hi hat is quite quite hefty. So uh, what we could do is um, take that right down. not quite so in your face. Maybe even speed it up. Although that does sound just a bit weird. All these samples are all 8-bit, uh, um, sampled at 16 kilohertz, uh, converted from, I don't know, whatever, 24-bit 24, 24 samples of all sorts of classic drum machines that you can find out there for download on the internet. Um, they're mostly made up of uh, samples from an 808 and a 909, and I think there's a Lin drum sample in there as well, so they're fairly familiar from a sound point of view. Uh, if we stop for the moment and go into tuning mode we can actually just play so what have we got we've got a kick a slightly different kick a snare a different snare a conga a whistle <laughs> Now you can hear, you can get some quite strange effects because the linear interpol interpolation is not very clever. But that's kind of also kind of fun. shaker, another congo, oh, that's kind of the same, maybe I should swap those ones. As you can see, I'm a natural drummer. What else have we got? Oh, that's very quiet. Oh, nice. Now the drum kits are all loaded into the actual uh, program memory of the chip, so they're not actually changeable in the device as it is at the moment. Although that being said, with a, obviously if you have access to a program, it's pretty easy to change those to something different. Um, so there you go, a quick uh, run through. I don't think I've got any other songs set up at the moment to uh, load. I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> yep, nothing in those. Anyway, there you go. There's a quick overview of where I am with the project at the moment. Hope you uh, enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.